We are moving over here as I introduce the man who knows all about anything you'd want to know about science, Dean oh, Hutton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking. Here's real entertainment, folks. Right. Can I sit here? Is it uh, all right? You can sit there. It's a comfortable chair. Yes, yes, yes. And Weird. I see you've got some friends in there. I have two. Excellent. Yes. Steve Van Apron. How are you, you Steve? And Yvonne there? Tran. How but do you do, they'll Yvonne? be doing something later on. First of all, we want yep. to talk about electricity. We take electricity for granted. We use it every day for the we alarm do. clock, the toaster, starting a car. Yep. But sometimes you get some rather unusual effects with electricity. I have a tuft of steel wool in yes. an electrode yeah. here, so yes. connected to an electric battery, yes. a car battery, 12 volts. Right. We're about to connect up 12 volts of electricity to the steel wool. Let's see what happens. Oh. Ooh, look at that. It's that, burning up. Is right? that dangerous? Well, don't try this at home. Okay? No. It's actually burning up because the wire got very hot because of the electrical resistance of oh. the wire, and then it continues burning for a while. It's a bit like what happens to people in the electric chair. Oh, great. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, yeah. Yes, right. That's great. Now, yes, uh, speaking hey, we're, of we're not going on a downer. This show is really up. It's fun. It's, uh, yeah. Speaking of electric chairs, <laughs> like you're donkey. in one, Daryl. This chair that you're sitting in is about to become an electric chair. Yes. Oh. Well, quite a safe electric chair, actually. We're going to pass some electric current through your fingers. So if you could put your hand on the side. Yes. Steve, who's uh, an expert in the polygraph, the lie detector. I thought it sounded like an Olympic event. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Um, he's connecting up electrodes to uh, two of your fingers. Right. And one of the things that the lie detector or polygraph They're does... They're the truth fingers. That's right. It measures the electrical resistance of your skin. If you tell a lie, you're likely to sweat more, and so the electricity will pass through more easily. Right. Now, normally in the polygraph, it means many writings, we'd also connect up and measure your blood pressure and put straps around your chest and yes. represent and measure your breathing patterns as well. Right. But for today, it's just the galvanic skin response. Can't we just whack him with a truncheon? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how's it looking, Steve? Um, Steve has a computer screen there, oh, right. and he's going to ask that. you some questions. So just sit back, yep. relax, and we're going to ask you some questions. Yes. And we want you to answer them, and we're going to try and tell whether you're, whether you're telling the truth mm -hmm. or whether you're telling a lie. Okay. Now, on the screen, we have a, a yellow line, and it's moving up and down as, as your skin response uh, is registered on that. Just get nice and relaxed. Okay, Steve, when no, you're ready, ask relax, him the first I? question. Okay. Is your first name Daryl? Yes. Oh. Okay, that's one simple question. Just get nice and relaxed. Are now, happy? what are we meant to, the waves are going up and down. What's the significance We're of We're trying the... to get a, a systematic pattern for, for truthful answers, first of all. Are you happy about Lisa McCune winning the gold Logie? <laughs> yes, I think oh, well oh, done. Oh, off, off the top of the screen for that one. I think it was... <laughs> I think it was... I think it was really well deserved. Yeah. Aren't they questions that Steve's supposed now, to ask Steve's, me? Steve's getting, we're just getting him settled down. Steve actually uh, has a company, Australian Polygraph Services. He's trained with the LAPD. He's worked with the Secret Service in right. America. Ooh. And so now that you're nicely relaxed, we're yeah. ready for the real questions. OK, relax. Okay. John, shut up for a moment. Uh, Steve is going to ask the questions. OK, Steve, away you go. Do you follow Geelong Football Club? Yes. Do you earn a lot of money? No. <laughs> so normally, normally in a, in a, a real court uh, situation that was going to lead to a court case, uh, Steve would spend maybe an hour and a half with you just checking out all these little bumps in your uh, response. But then right. eventually we'd get to the point where we can tell very accurately whether you're telling lies or not. Yes. Yes. Do we both deserve a rise <laughs> for the amount of great work we do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Off the top of the screen again, OK. <laughs> now, in that case... <laughs> We, we were passing electricity through you. You can take them off uh, your fingers now. Okay. Take those electrodes right. off you. your fingers. Thank because you, now we're going to show you something totally different. Right. You have electrical activity going on inside your brain yes. right now. You're not connected to anything. Right. Actually, the amount of electricity is not even enough to light up a torch bulb. Okay. But there's a little bit there. Millions of a volt. So yeah. do I. Yeah. Now, Yvonne has attached a headband to me with some electrodes to that. And she's going to try and measure the uh, uh, electrical activity the, of my brain. The now, oldest I should say, TV in the world, folks. <laughs> I should say, 
if almost anybody is uh, measured, they, they find that there are all kinds of busy signals going on inside the brain, but there's something called alpha rhythm. Yep. And when your eyes are open, it's normally not much at all. In fact, it's sometimes represented with a map, which we might have a look at now. They're the one on the right, eyes open. Uh, blue and purple colours means not much alpha activity. Alpha waves are slow, rhythmic waves. When you close your eyes, you get a sudden burst of activity represented on the left by the, the red colors, and the yellow. Yeah. Okay? Now, what we're going to try and do is see if I can use my alpha wave increase to switch on a whole lot of, ele whole lot of electrical gadgets. This uh, gear was developed by the, um, mind, the mind switch team at the University of Technology in Sydney. Yvonne's part of that team. So this is an in Australian, a moment, Australian, Australian, Australian invention. invention, world right. first. When I close my eyes in a moment, there should be an increase in alpha activity. It'll be amplified by this grey box. Uh, filtered out from all the background noise and then a message will be sent to this little infrared red machine. Across that gap, a message should be sent. There's nothing connecting all these electrical devices behind us right. except my message which goes in here. It should trigger off a relay which will then switch off all these things. But it's only my mind that can switch it all off mm. without any connection. Okay. Now, the machines are all connected up, but the relay hasn't gone across, and it won't go across until I relax and increase my alpha rhythm. I'm about to close my eyes and relax. Here I go. Do we need to get the RECV? Wow. <laughs> now. Can you make it? I'm going to turn it off now. That is amazing. Yeah. That is I turned it off. I turned it off, I turned it on, right? Simply well, by sending a message across that gap. Now, there are amazing implications yes. for this okay. Australian invention. Yes. For example, quadriplegics in the future may be able to use a device such as this to switch on household appliances. Right. Jet pilots, astronauts, people driving may be able to trigger off a system, a warning system, if they get drowsy. All because of this incredible invention from the University of Technology in Sydney. It may seem like magic, but it's not. It's science. science. <laughs> yes. Yes. Lesson, everyone. As we thank Yvonne, Steve, and Dean, let's count down from five, shall we? Okay. Five, four, four three, two, two, one. He's done it again. Yeah. Ah. Is that magic? No. It's ridiculous, is what it is.